I don't think on this channel we have discussed uh, stigma of hearing loss. Um, and that comes in different forms. I remember, and there are some funny lines with this, <laughs> um, which I will share, especially coming from my uh, today's Father's Day. So uh, my dad, when I asked him why he wasn't wearing hearings, hearing aids, he said, well, I don't, I don't want those people to think that I'm old. I said, Dad, you're 80 years old. You are old. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he kind of looked at me like, <laughs> said, Dad, you're not going to lose a, a, a babe <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> because you wear hearing aids. She probably wears hearing aids too. <laughs> so <laughs> get over yourself. So... <laughs> And you know, young people lose hearing 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 too, um, and you know it's it's harder when you're younger to lose to lose hearing hearing because you have so much to do, you have so much so many things you want to do, and it doesn't mean you can't, but you have to have that period where you get the hearing aid, you go through a little rehab, you get used to wearing the hearing aids, and in the meantime, you know, time flies. So, <laughs> when you're not having fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, for those who are younger, because hearing loss is really pictured as for older people. Only old people get hearing loss, and it's not true. Um, a lot of people, a lot of children, a lot of babies who are born are born deaf or with hearing loss. Um, a lot of youth or young adults start losing hearing uh, for a variety of reasons, either genetics or because they were in an accident or who knows, you know? And um, all I can say to the younger generations is that there is great technology out there that will help them with that hearing loss. And uh, it's, it's important to kind of get over the, the shock or the difficulty or the what if, what is going, what other people are going to think about me now that I have, um, let me take this off for a second, I think you'll hear me better, um, what other people are going to think about me if I'm wearing hearing aids. And I say to that is, who cares? <laughs> who cares? You're being responsible, you're caring for yourself. Uh, with your with using hearing aids, and especially when we're young and we get hearing loss, the difficulty is you know we want the brain to continue to uh, you know to exercise those muscles in the hearing department because if you don't use hearing aids, then that part of the brain's going to say, well, I don't have to work anymore. There's no sound, so I don't have to do anything for this person, so I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna die off. <laughs> so that's the that's the danger of not exercising, you know, proper hearing with hearing aids. So it's not that your hearing will get worse because it just all depends on what type of hearing you have and what is the prediction for that type of hearing. So we can't say that your hearing will get lost, uh, get worse. It, it the problem is the brain. So you want to take care of your brain. And make sure it keeps on saying, okay, let's go at it. <laughs> let's go climb mountains. So, and that's why we wear, we wear hearing aids for that and for communication. So we want to improve communication. We don't want to be saying what every two minutes and or every 60 <laughs> seconds uh, so that people know, okay, you know, we're there in the conversation. Uh, we have proper tools to be able to hear. So, you know, my hearing went very fast, and, um, and everybody knew about my hearing loss except me. So that, that could happen to any one of us if we're young. In the older population, it's, it's almost expected because as you age, different parts of our body work less. <laughs> it's just part of the math. <laughs> We don't live forever, so <coughs> so that's expected. 
in the older population. And some elderly don't get hearing loss at all. They have perfect hearing, you know? So it just all depends. So when you're younger, it's more important to address it as soon as possible. Uh, and sometimes we don't know that we have hearing, hearing loss and it's important for people to uh, strap their boots up and say, hey, uh, we think you have hearing loss, might wanna get it checked. And you shouldn't be embarrassed. You shouldn't, you know, not go to the audiologist. And it's important for you to learn, okay, if you have hearing loss, how much is it? If you do have hearing loss, what type is it? And w if you have hearing loss, do you need uh, hearing aids? And for those who have sudden hearing, hearing loss, and that's when you lose your hearing very rapidly. Now you can lose it 24 hours, you can lose it in, in three weeks. I lost it within a three year period. I started in 83 and by 86 I was, I was completely deaf. So, you know, and so now I wear cochlear implants. So there always is a solution to hearing loss or deafness. So there shouldn't be a fear of anything. You know, your audiologist is gonna take care of you and is gonna guide you and counsel you and give you directions. So you're not alone in, in that. Um, you might have to educate your, your small circle, your family or close friends. Hey, I came down with hearing loss, but I'm wearing hearing aids. It's gonna take me a little bit to adjust and everybody's gonna say, oh, okay, you know, no big deal. The more relaxed you are about it, they will be relaxed as well. So if if you if you go around fearing it, you know, oh my gosh, what if other people blah, 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 then yeah, you're gonna <laughs> end up <laughs> you're gonna end up in a knot. But you gotta eliminate the the stigma. You gotta eliminate along with the rest of us the attitude that people have towards hearing loss. And yes, the one of the big things. Sorry, my nose itches here. Um, the one of the things that it impacts the most is communication. So that's one of the big reasons you do want to use hearing aids if it's recommended for you um, so that you can continue to communicate and you're not isolated. I feel really bad when people decide not to use hearing aids. I feel really bad because then they're left out. They can't hear what people are saying. They get frustrated. The people around them get frustrated and that person ends up, you know, being alone. Um, and they can't, they can't go to the movies, they can't, you know, because they can't hear, they can't go to restaurants with their family because they can't hear. Um, they can't ha watch a good movie and popcorn at home with the family because they can't hear. So a lot of things start getting knocked off the list and you end up being a very, very isolated person and other people feel bad for you and don't know what to do or how to help you. Um, you know, my brother, my brother a lot of times will uh, say, hey, let's go to the movies, but he'll look for action type movies so I can follow along better. He knows that I hear the talking, I can understand, but there's a lot that I miss. So he'll look for a movie where there's just a lot of action and I can just follow it just fine. So, um, like gorillas in the mist, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> planet of the apes, yeah, planet of the apes. <laughs> but, you know, that's the thing. You, you gotta play hooky, you gotta play the game of the hearing loss and, and figure out what, what is the best for you, what works for you. And I wouldn't want anybody to, to, to be isolated. Here in our institution, it happens a lot. Um, people, I see it, you know, people who have refused to wear hearing aids and then um, they, nobody can talk to them. So they're sitting at the table quietly because, you know, if somebody talks to them, they have to yell at them at the top of their voices so that person can hear them and be part of the conversation. Now I have one member, she uses an app and she, when she opens the app, she can see the conversation, what people are talking about. So that's, that's really smart. Um, and you can do that too. Um, I can't remember the name of the app, but I'll look it up and I'll post it down below in the description. But 
<coughs> and that's another tool you can use as you uh, deal with your hearing loss. But it is terrible to see someone who could be treated with hearing aids and refuses. And then they end up, you know, nobody wants to talk to them because they have to yell at them. Nobody wants to talk to them or interact with them because they, they know they're not going to be heard. <coughs> and so it's, it's just a struggle from point A to point B. And it gets very sad. So let's brighten up this picture. <laughs> let's brighten up this picture and just say, you know, if you have to help someone who needs to look into hearing aids, well, you know, and it's possible that they say, nah, you know, I don't want to look old. I don't want to wear those things. And it's like with my dad. <laughs> I just joked around him. I said, bad news, dad. You are old. <laughs> so <laughs> you're not going to lose anything. <laughs> so <laughs> and I'd say to dad, you know, you're missing a lot of what I'm saying to you. And I have to repeat to you a lot. And it's, it's difficult. It's frustrating. And so, you know, so there's that. And then, <coughs> you know, your, your memory is, is going to start to shut down because it's not receiving information to continue to, to work. So it's really important to wear hearing aids. It's going to make your light, your day brighter. You, you're not going to get as tired, you know, because it helps with energy as well. When you have hearing loss and you have to go through the whole entire day and you're, you're frustrated because you have to be careful when you cross the street. You have to be careful when you're talking to the woman at the bank. You have to be careful when <laughs> at the end of the day you're exhausted. And with hearing aids, you regain some of that energy. So it's really important. Um, and it's really important to get your sleep as well uh, so you can regain some of that energy that hearing loss will rob from you. And hearing aids will help you a ton. So it's time to not fear the technology. The technology has um, advanced quite a bit. Hearing aids look really cool now rather than those boring um, uh, banana-shaped <laughs> objects <laughs> that we used to use, <laughs> cream-colored skin colored bananas. <laughs> so the hearing aids are all kind of colors now and all kinds of shapes. So, you know, if it's decor, don't worry. If it's behind your ear, nobody's going to see it. If it's in the ear, nobody's going to see it. So the important thing is to use what you're comfortable with. And I had a lot of allergies, so, you know, we struggled a little bit to find something that I wouldn't break out <laughs> to a rash. So do you get my drift? Do you get my drift? Even if you're older, it was bound to happen, <laughs> most people. Um, if you're younger, like myself, um, when I started with hearing loss, I was about <coughs> 35, 38 maybe. Um, and that's, that's pretty young for hearing loss. But again, hearing loss is not just for the elderly. It's for the younger people too and for babies and for teenagers, it just happens, you know. The hearing mechanism is very, very fragile and things could happen, you know. Teenager who plays football, a teenager who plays, uh, you know, um, basketball and gets it, um, somebody in a car accident or meningitis or, you know, <coughs> some kind of antibiotic. So for we can lose our hearing for so, so many reasons. Uh, so you don't have to blame yourself. Uh, what did you do to cause it? Because it could be a bazillion reasons why the hearing loss came about. So, so don't run away from the, the issue of the hearing aid. That's the least of your worries. The least the, the worry is that the you adjust to it well and that you are able to say and have the courage to say, hey, people, I have hearing loss. So if you could face me and uh, speak directly to me, that'll help me a lot. I have my little tool here, my phone. 
They will also pick up the conversation. I can read it just in case I miss something. And yes, let's go out to the movies. Love movies. <laughs> you got to keep your brain working there. <laughs> so um, think about it. You know, if if someone gets discouraged, they don't want to date you because you have hearing hearing aids. That's a little silly. <laughs> I think if you're a kind and funny and enthusiastic person, a pretty person, or a handsome guy, people are going to date you anyway, <laughs> despite the hearing aids. <laughs> so don't worry about the hearing aids. Um, you know, the again, the technology is very cool these days, and um, we have all kinds of options, all kinds of answers for hearing loss. So think about it. Think about the reasons why, and make a list why you wouldn't want hearing aids, why you would want hearing aids, and see what you come up with. And uh, let us know what your decisions are, but I want you to know that society um, wants to hang out with you, <laughs> and, and for that, you might need hearing aids, and that is okay. <laughs>